Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I, I yeah, but it's a lot of ifs, you know. So basically, it's risky. Yeah, basically, right now, okay, Prophet didn't die, but Sven is still farming the lane. We've seen this a lot, like the max, <laughs> uh, the max cleave. You go for clang blade and you just keep farming and you stack ancients. So that is like yeah, Mushi did it the other day. So this is the way that newbie is gonna pull ahead with the Sven, and LG is gonna try to play a fast-paced game to not allow that to happen. Too they want to take early towers, get a ward up in the ancients. Don't let Sven play the farm game. Yep. So right. Right now, Tron is situated at the, at the top side, so he's gonna be able to help the Beastmaster soon. He has a fairly First decent click for that now. Blood bottom lane is newbie combined here. Snowball, the shards, and an earlier storm hammer to set it up gets the kill. I'm looking at this mid lane though, Winter, where maybe has 74 damage to Moose 53, uh, and he has been pulling him BDC out. He's gonna lane. be run down by Bambi with the superior movement speed, not gonna be able to escape. <laughs> actually had the cask there, the deny instead, right? The projectile was going to him and he dominated it. And he it. dominated it so it became a deny instead of instead of a, a kill. So right now our is trying to drag the creeps back to his lane, but it's not gonna be able to do so how it's not gonna be. Uh oh RTK in danger he's here dead. in the bottom lane, he teleport's available, but he's too slow. There's still a snowball, so he was there's no way that he could have got up here in temple and try to they're moving on top items. now, Smoke Gang from Tron. And they're gonna find out DDC here with the boar going to work as well as Tron with the auto attacks. They can just get a rage for a stun from the centaur. It'll be sure death for DDC. Gus comes through, but they keep on chasing the centaur stun slightly short. They turn, throwing out a nuke onto Tron, and now Silar slowly working there with Can't the frost attacks. Me. The arrows do touch him just enough in all the wrong places, and Tron will go down. You know, in the end, it's still like pressured that the, the lane, because Visage, like, you don't want to be such to get the early level 6 as well, so killing him was. A big deal for them. But right now, LGD, because the tempo is snowball on mid, they're moving on to maybe here. AMD coming through, they get the shards trap. He dodges it, he gets off the silence. Maybe he's not out of this one yet, but he is gonna have an orb. Can he make it? Oh, not quite. He even had the, he had the region run him. He had popped it. One was scouted. An observer were oh, there. They, 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 they weren't up the hill. hill. Oh, they weren't on the lower hill. But I don't. Oh, they, one. Kill. they still catch him. Snowball forward, Centaur's there to find MMI. Oh, do they kill him? Charge and yes, they will. So MMI down 6 to on the score. I'm not sure if they saw that, Gomez. <laughs> it looked like they did. They were not on the high ramp and they have vision of it, but. Oh, newbie now getting turned on. Maybe Tron goes down here. One more frost arrow. I, I mean, know. it's uh, the tier 1 bottom tower at bottom lane, so. Still something for, for newbie. They start losing heroes there. And right now they're gonna try and treasure the draw with the Tusk coming in. They got a stomp from the central here. And they are gonna follow it up. Cast comes through a nicely placed Gus by keep Salar alive, but he is being dope. Currently Snowball rolling in deep onto the Drow. They're gonna isolate him, bring him down with one more auto attack. The Maledic working on light. He drops a ward on the retreat out. Don't think LGD scouted that as they're busy trying to get the kill. Last Maledic tick will do it and But Latule goes to work now with the force help and the auto attack damage that a Beastmaster brings to the table. MMI's gonna drop as well. Tron's still in this one and DDC's gonna go down. They've wiped out. A try lane, three have fallen. While that was all going on, the invoker did get up for some of that. Wow, all right. Action, action everywhere. Man, they needed that from AB. In fact, they might even catch Tulay retreating here. The frost arrow is coming through. Silence is there. The gust just to slow him down for a moment. Tulay backing off. The orb's going to be ready soon. Swan is trying to turn this though. Here's the tornado. Oh, it's such a short phase shift that it actually still catches him out. And maybe it's going to drop it. Now Silar's in danger. Right back the other way. We keep on going. There's two heroes. Bottom. Witch Doctor's not in position to help out his trial ranger. The gust is there. But newbie keep on plowing into this drow. And Tulay is dominating 4-0 and 3 this top level is like in the lanes they can't stay in their lanes that's the problem for LGD right now they need the puck to break things apart oh, they're gonna lane. roar DDC under the shadow of his tier 3 but they're gonna need more backup it comes to puck they were baiting now too late gonna get caught into it's a trap but this time it's newbie the ones caught within it two down they only lose that a best was... straight player that tilts RTZ for sure I don't know if it's Oh, but they have to abandon. Oh, but you can't do that here. MMI gonna get caught up, and they roll on the baby. Cold snap came through, he phase shift to try and dodge it. Already committed the challenge, drops the coil, but they're on the offensive. Newbie looking to finish off this punk by Rise into position for Gus. They're gonna work forward on the move, trying to turn it around. LGD desperately looking to take this fight. Maybe then deep up. Soul Assumption is enough, secures the kill on a fleeing invoker. So a two for one thus far. Uh, Maybe they could rat late game, but they're definitely not gonna He's head on He's not fight. gonna rat now, it's because he's gonna be dead. <laughs> uh, the rat, he found the trap. <laughs>
<laughs> I was gonna quickly finish them off here. I think he found the cheese in the lane. Oh He's no, the Triad! Maybe it's the one in front though, and he blinks out RTK a little bit close. Runs towards them. Smith for this instead, they're gonna roar DDT. Let's see if they leave him. Tropital comes in. Looks like they're thinking about fighting it. Jumping forward. Coils there. It is only gonna hide you way too late. Can they finish off Twan for this? Not quite able to do so. Now that was on the run. The Stormbow comes in and spin. Gets the work. Hammering away with the War Cry. He is able to tank the vast majority of that Death War damage without taking too much in his own right. How backing off, getting earned up. RTK gonna fall as well. That's four down, and now it's just maybe. Last man standing. Couldn't find. I don't even go for the Midas, he goes back into Tread, so... Everything focused on right now for LGD. Here we go. Corbin is a pistol roach, extremely low. And they get the time to the Somebody grab the damage. Oh, and the Spander gets it. So bleed through, finishing off the post. Now the Draw Rager dead as well. A perfect high ground death board. Not enough to even up. Now one total on a second time. Stony Arc is wrapping him up on a Kirby Fox the Meg. He gets pushed down by the Ice Shards and right into the waiting arm of Hal, who will finish him up together with Lay. That's poor dead. RTK, he is doing his job Radiance pushing out these lanes, but so perhaps gonna be punished. The blink surprise from Hal. One, two, three. Oh, he gets off the back, so it's gonna be a couple of extra packs. But RTK ain't running for this one. And Hal will collect his bounty. The thing is just a thing in Dora now that everyone should do that. It's neither as good or Why is everything black and white with you? Why can't there be shades of gray? These shades are great. Here comes the maybe jump forward. He got off the coil. There's the roar though, the counter play him, and Lay just rolls right in. Fuck into the next universe. So we'll finish above EDC now. Getting man moded on by Tron. This Bambi's got some legs on her, and she'll keep on going on to RTK. One more hit. Actually, they get two. Should be enough to finish the jump. Two Lay's gonna help out with the four. Silar next, that's four down. Newbie, quick, decisive, and brutal are slaughtering LGD. Go to work, they throw the alacrity on him. It's his attack speed, enormous for a spin at this stage. Over two attacks per second. Familiar stun here and there, but it is not enough. LGD thoroughly beaten, battered, will live in the game three, unable to close out their beat. Here are the series so far, Enchantress, I have to say. Every series, every stone hero, and this series, Enchantress is the hero. Ben? Hey. So, who is going to have first pick in game 3? Is it just yes. going to switch here? I believe they're going to have another coin toss because uh, from what I understand that they don't want someone who have won the coin toss. I think if Newbie get first pick, LGD will ban... Whoever gets second pick will ban Enchantress, most likely. You know, do LGD need to though? Because they could have picked like something less risky. Like, they give away... The